Hi, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, this is going to be the start of an epic series. As you guys know, Follow a Sketch February is something I do uh, every February for a couple years now. Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life is going to have 30 days of sketches in March, and I'm going to join her. And today, January 31st, is the start of the 100 Day Project. So what I have decided is to have 100 sketch videos from January 31st to May 10th. Now, those videos will be going up every single day and there will be other videos too. So please know if sketches are not your thing, this uh, channel will not just be sketches. I will be doing other things as well. So today is the 31st, it's a bonus sketch day. I am using this sketch that I pulled off of the internet uh, because I am using my lovely leftovers to create a layout about pecan tassies. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I have a pile of lovely leftovers that I am using from this little plastic bin. There are things here from my December project. There are also things here from layouts that I have recently made, and it's just a time where I am going to try to use them up. So this gold foil paper right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down to four and a half by six and a half. And what that's gonna do is allow me to have a quarter inch border all the way around my photo. Um, I don't have a photo mat here, but there are lots of other layers and I kind of go rogue a little bit with my layers. You can definitely tell that I used this sketch to create my layers and figure out how that they were going to be. And I have thinner pieces and thicker pieces, but I kind of just start making layers. So I stop looking uh, at the sketch and just really start going at it with these layers. So these are uh, pecan tassies and I do have to say they are absolutely delicious. And you might be looking at this and going, holy Moses, Sandy, why are you using a blue, blue wood uh, paper on this layout? And yeah, I am using a blue wood paper. I am actually going to bring in all kinds of colors for this layout. So if you watched any of my videos in December, you would see that my December project was very traditional Christmas colors. I do love a good December project in Christmas colors, uh, red, green black and white little pops of metallics like that just those little albums full of those colors just bring me joy but in my christmas layouts that go in my regular uh, chronological albums those i don't mind mixing up using all the colors um, not using christmas themed products like that these are just like the the yearbook, the what happened in our lives type thing. So I don't feel like I have to have them traditional Christmas colors. And then that way I get the best of both worlds, you guys. I get the traditional Christmas, which fills my heart with happiness. And then I kind of get to do what I want, um, which as you guys already know, that definitely fills my heart with happiness. So I'm bringing in some more of these papers and you're probably like, whoa, you've got gold and you've got silver and now you've got um, kind of vintage distressed and you have non and you have glitter paper and yeah, I have all those things. And it turns out pretty fabulous. For a minute here, it's it's looking a little funky, um, but once I'm finished with it, I really do feel like it is just a little paper explosion of happiness. And I say that with all seriousness. Um, it just makes me happy. You know, mixing and matching and making the things uh, just makes me happy. Now, I'm not going to use this barrel of monkeys uh, on the reverse side of the paper because that's a little woe uh, for these. Um, but in this point, I am loving the yellow. Um, so yeah, so I've got this built out and then I'm thinking, oh, okay, I definitely am going to need a little bit of journaling. So where in the world is that going to go? Um, am I going to do that little circle where it says text? Mm, we'll see. 
Um, but I do, I even, look at this, you guys. I even kept these little teeny tiny, these little teeny tiny branding strip size papers for my lovely leftovers because otherwise, how in the world am I going to make layouts out of lovely leftovers? Now, um, if these papers... Once I'm finished with Lovely Leftovers, if they don't uh, get used up, they are going in the bin. So that other very thin black, uh, what is this, uh, half inch strip is going in the trash. Because honestly, it um, I'm not saving it. It stresses me out. Um, but these bigger pieces um, where I have pieces to use, this, this works for me. And it kind of works for my laziness a little bit too. Because if I put these paper pieces into this bucket, which is the lovely leftover bin, then I can just create layouts with it and it's less stuff I have to put away. And that makes my heart happy. Yes, it does. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a little bit of something up here, um, similar to what it is in the sketch. Um, like I said, I'm not really focusing a lot on the sketch right now. I'm just kind of looking at it and you'll definitely be able to tell that I used this layout. Um, I will say that I had these two little Vicky Booten chipboards, uh, this one tab that says the story and then the camera. Um, they were chilling. They were stuck to the side of my kit bin um, because I wanted to use them. Because, you know, they're, I think they're the only two chipboard I have left out of that uh, chipboard pack. So I didn't keep the pack, uh, obviously, because why would I keep that much packaging for such a small amount of chipboard? And I figured, you know what, we'll just, we'll just use them up here. And I figured with all of the variety of colors, it was completely working with this layout. And you can put a camera on any layout. You just can. Like, there's no, whatever, put a camera on a layout. So now I'm trimming down more of that uh, black cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and pop that down up in the upper left hand corner of the layout. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, something's got to happen. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm trying to run my finger across like, where's my title going to go? Where's my text going to go? Where is the stuff going? I just, I don't have a solution. Uh, so I figure, you know what? why don't we make some hidden journaling? So I've got all this uh, layered up bits here on the back. I am going to take a uh, four by six journaling card. I'm gonna trim it down a little bit and put the tab on the top of it so that I can pull it out for some hidden journaling. And I actually fill up that entire card of journaling. It's kind of crazy um, because as you guys might or might not be aware, um, a lot of the times the journaling on my layouts is not epic uh, because I do scrapbook a lot of layouts for one thing. So uh, my journaling is like it's spaced out across a bunch of layouts. Uh, I have uh, changed the way I scrapbook and that's what makes me happy and that's how I'm productive and that's what gives my soul the joy. So that's what I'm going to do. Now if that kind of thing stresses you out and you need to have all the journaling on all the layouts, then please, by all means, make that happen for yourself. You got to scrapbook the way it makes you happy. Um, it really doesn't, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that this is the way I like to scrapbook and you know, you don't have to scrapbook the way I scrapbook. Um, I watch other YouTubers all the time and what works for them um, might not work for me and that's okay. I can enjoy watching them. I can enjoy their process. Um, I can just enjoy that and not worry about it. Um, now if you are still in the process of figuring out your style, figuring out what products you like to use, um, then try it. Or if something new comes along that you haven't tried yet and you're like, Ooh, I want to give that a try, then do it. Um, but don't think that you ever have to create uh, a specific way because somebody is telling you to do it that way. Um, you just don't have to. Uh, I got to say that that kind of stuff stresses me out and makes me angry. I feel like for a while there's this, there's this push of scrapbook this way. You need this product and scrapbook that way. And yes, I am on a couple design teams. I do 
put affiliate links down below because if you're interested in buying this stuff, then yeah, I, I would like to um, make <laughs> those pennies uh, on that on that sale if you're going to buy it. But I don't want anyone to ever think that they absolutely have to buy what I use. Um, you can find things in your stash. Now, if I find a product that I think is just amazing and it is the best quality out there, I'm definitely going to tell you guys, like Brutus Monroe embossing inks, I totally think they are the best embossing inks I've ever used. Um, and I've been saying I've been slowly replacing all of my inks with Brutus Monroe. I only have a couple uh, colors left now to do that. So, you know, those are the kind of things. But if you like WOW embossing powders and they work for you and you have fun with them and you enjoy them, I would totally not expect you to go out and buy Brutus Monroe embossing powders because you found something that you loved. And if you're using it, then that's even better. Like, buy what you love, use what you love. If you don't know what you love, then buy something and try it out. But don't buy a whole daggone set of it. Buy one. Buy something that you could repeatedly use. Like a white or a black or a gold or a silver. If there's something that you know that you would repeatedly use, try it. You don't have to buy the full set. Um, if it turns out that you do love it and then full set syndrome sinks in, then hey, more power to you. But, you know, somebody's like, oh, I use this brand of ink pad now because I really like it. And then like a hundred people go out and buy it too just because you're buying it. And I know that that really seems counter counterproductive for me to be saying this stuff because I do use affiliate links. And I am on design teams, and the express purpose of being on a design team is for uh, you to buy their product. But <laughs> all I'm saying is that if you are going to buy the product, don't don't be a maniac about it. Just make sure it's something that you love. Um, because the design teams that I'm on, I love their products. I've used them. I have them. And they're not something I would just... I'm just not on the design teams I'm on just to be on design teams. I'm on them because I love their stuff. Um, so love your stuff. I say all of that to love your stuff. Anyway, um, as you could see, I built that little pocket um, pull out behind the tassies. And I just used that with foam uh, rectangles that my friend Amber gave to me. I have two foam dealers. Uh, one keeps me in fun foam and one keeps me in uh, little rectangle foamies. So you got to get yourself some friends that like have the hookup because they can definitely do it. Um, so I went ahead and used that. So this entire bottom section is popped up ever so slightly. Um, I do have this title down here that says Tassies. Uh, and then I also have December 2019. And I am going to uh, shift this over a little bit so that the nine isn't hanging off of that silver bit. Um, I decide that I like it better if it's hanging off a little bit more over here on the left-hand side uh, because it's got that black piece of cardstock to kind of lay on top of. So it doesn't look like it's getting ready to tip off and hit the tassies uh, down below. So what I was saying about the tassies, um, these are little pecan tarts and I can bake the crap out of them. But I tell you one thing, I cannot bake a pecan pie to save my soul. I have tried it multiple times over the years and every single time, every single recipe, it just does not turn out great. Like it just doesn't. Um, I did want to give a nod to that circle that is in the sketch and I felt like that was a big expanse of glitter silver and green paper and I needed something so I had this half a doily that was in my little doily stash and I decided to add a bit of adhesive and tuck it underneath of the photo now the top part of the doily does kind of like fall down to the background of the paper uh, because I'm not popping that little bit of doily up on the fun um, adhesive foam squares so but I'm not I'm not really worried about that at all um, now here I am waxing poetic about these tassies um, I think this year in 2019 I baked 
two quadruple batches of them. Um, usually when I bake them, I make a double batch. And then um, this year I made this, not this past year. I didn't make them at all this past year. Um, but in 2019, I made two quadruple batches and sent them into the workplace as well. Um, they are so, so delicious. Like they're just, they're just great. They're like a flaky, flaky little crust. Um, and they're a, a little mini pecan pie. They're like bite-sized pecan pies. So, so delicious. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow for February 1st, which is the very first day of Follow a Sketch February and day two of 100 sketchy videos. So thanks for watching. I will see you again real soon for another video.